What's up everybody, it is Royal UJ and I am back again with another video and this time I am reviewing Janae Aiko's Chalombo's album. I'm not going to go verbatimly into each song because it's like 20 songs. If you heard the album, you already know what it's giving, right? Okay. My favorite, the songs that I have on repeat, because I love the whole album, I love the feel of the album. I feel like when you listen into it, you don't even realize that the song is kind of like changing the way that the transitions were. Like you don't even realize that the song is changing. Like I was literally vibing out to the album, just laid back listening to it. And then another song will come on, I'll be like, wait a minute. So I'm thinking like that song's still playing. And then I look, it's like a, a total different song. So when I realized, how the transitions were I was like oh my god it's so cool when you listen to the album it's like if you're into like Hertz and you're into it's called binaural beats if you are into those types of things like healing sounds and meditation music and stuff you can really hear it through the album I love it it's very refreshing it's very healing it's very calm and soothing my favorites that i have on repeat um speed pray for you morning doves lightning and thunder i believe it's called of course pussy fairies <laughs> i love that one so i love those songs but i love the whole album overall i feel like it's a great body of work janae doesn't really disappoint i could just enjoy it you know what i'm saying so speak we're gonna get into speak speak is basically from my point of view because i could be wrong it means something totally different but from my point of view what i got from it was just basically a woman or anything for that matter anybody for that matter who is in a relationship where they're kind of over it you were dealing with like insecurities and control issues in the relationship and it's like you're now picking yourself up and saying i no longer want this you walk away and you find something better you just find your peace of mind do the things that you wasn't able to do in a relationship she speaks on like putting on that particular dress that this guy wouldn't normally let her wear and that's what i mean by the insecurities in a relationship where a guy would feel like his woman can't really be sexy being that get out of this toxic situation you know what i'm saying and just be yourself so i love that part i love everything about that song but for me i'm not a woman and I'm not in a relationship so I look at it differently for me um, the way I'm, I feel like I could relate to it is me talking to my old self my old self kind of policed a lot of different things and just wasn't being happy and wasn't enjoying myself it felt like I couldn't do certain things I couldn't wear certain things I couldn't act a certain way and it's just the new me telling the old me like pick yourself up like the sun is shining the moon is bright like pick yourself up wear the outfit that you wouldn't have worn because it was was too tight or too big or whatever you know smile a little bit more and just be happy and speak up for yourself and speak up for what's right so that's what i took from it and i love that song that's one of my favorites i keep playing it over and over i ain't gonna lie you know i'm a little i'm a gangster and all that you know what i'm saying i'm split but i did get a little teary-eyed listening to the album because the songs that are kind of like releasing like the like the release type songs where it's like you release and hardships and stuff and pain different things like that it's really refreshing and it really helps you in a lot of ways so i love those songs in the album because i'm going through that transition period of like releasing a lot of toxicity the toxic ways and toxic beliefs so i love it i love it so my next favorite is let's do pray, pray for you i know morning does come first but pray for you i, I play that so often not as much but pray for you is basically a person who is getting over that ex and i look at it kind of like a continuation of speak that's why i was like it should have been speak then pray for you it should have been like that pray for you is like a continuation of speak and what it is is just basically someone who is getting over a, a ex just saying like i don't wish you no ill will like i still pray for you i still wish the best for you it couldn't be what we wanted to be for one another but i still wish you the best i hope you find what you was looking for i hope you build that confidence that you really didn't have at that time when we were together i hope that you find happiness and peace and joy within your life just basically wishing someone well that have either broken your heart or really kind of kind of put you in a mind state of unhappiness so that's what i took from that and i love that song is one of my favorites one of my favorites it's very short wish it was longer but it's good for what it is and it's just basically forgiving it's like a forgiving type song like i forgive you for what you've said what you've done that's why I love Pray For You. It's like a forgiving type song where you have to forgive yourself first and then, and then forgive that particular person. So it's like a forgiving song and like a moving on type thing. And like, I'm going to go on with my life and be happy, but I still wish you the best. I ain't got no problems with you. 
Just move on. I'm gonna move on. Go on to Lightning and Thunder. It's a duet between her and John Legend. I love the duet. Don't get me wrong. I love the duet, but I felt like I wanted Janae's verse to be longer. And then again, I kind of felt like could have did the song by itself, but it was good. It was good. I still love it. Still one of my favorite songs. I love John Legend part, but I just feel like it was one of those songs that she could have did by herself or could have been on it a little bit more and a little bit longer. I don't know. I just keep finding myself going back to her part. And the song if that makes sense with that song is just basically talking about at the beginning she starts off with saying that she been up since six in the morning doing rituals incense just basically manifesting and it is a continuation of pray so it comes right after pray for you so it's just basically like you know i've been up doing morning rituals i've been doing you know lighting incense and manifesting and, and like i love that song i love that song completely for me i just feel like could have been on it by herself but uh, y'all let me know in the comment section what you thought about the album, which ones were your favorite, um, what song that stuck out to you and that you resonated with most. The only reason why I spoke on the songs that are my favorite because they are the ones that I resonated with a little bit more. Not in the sense of a relationship or anything, but just like self, real life issues, self healing, self work, stuff like that. So that's why I resonated with those songs a little bit more. I love the entire album, but those are the songs that are on repeat right now. So comment below and let me know which songs that you guys have on repeat. Which songs that you play the most, which ones do you resonate with the most. And let's talk about it. I don't know if I'm uploading this one first or I'm doing Sugar. But check out my other review for Megan Thee Stallion Sugar EP or Project, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.